Hi everyone, it's Peg here. I am playing a little catch up here today, so bear with me. Um, I am doing ICAD number 38 for this is July 8th today. And what I've done is I've gone through my paper stash. Of, I've got a whole bunch of 6x6 six six paper that needs to be used. Of course, I can't glue straight. <laughs> you guys ever have that problem? I have that problem a lot. Uh, that's why we use glue sticks, because we can still manipulate it, right? Okay, being troublesome. There we go. Finally got the corners to match. Anyway, I cut this piece of paper. Um, you can see I've got a bunch of different papers over here that I was selecting from. And I went into this uh, particular paper pad here and found this from Prima. Uh, I like the flowers. I like the colors. And I was using some of these papers earlier. And what I'd found was... Um, this die from Stel Spellbinders. I had been over to Tuesday morning. Um, it's got four dies in it for $4.99, which I thought was kind of a steal. So I'm going to work with that today, and I've got a few of them uh, cut out. Now this is the same paper I was using yesterday on uh, a project, and I'm flipping it over and using the not shiny side today. Uh, that's one of the things that's nice about this paper is you have options about which side you want to use and which coloration you want. But I thought I thought that that would look kind of nice on this particular paper. So I'm just gluing these down. They're cute little cute little flowers that I die cut. And I cut a couple of stems for my flowers. Let's see. Not sure how I want to position these yet, but um, this is out of that same kind of paper that's got the shimmer on it. I think I need to go up a little higher with that. And glue that stem down. And did I glue that? No, I haven't glued that yet. Okay going to glue that onto its stem. Just like that. And we'll flip this one and glue it down. I think it should go kind of kind of in here somewhere. And we'll glue up the back of this. And we'll stick that down like so and trim up our flower stems. And now we have that much done. Now I found this um, Clear Creations Transparent Overlays and I thought, well, that might work pretty well. Uh, on something like this. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to use. So there's a lot to pick from in here. Let's see. Here we go. Do what you love. I like that. So, I need to cut that. Just got a little bit of space here where it's kind of tacked. Okay, so got a saying do what you love. We're just going to go. There. Now I think I need to 
Let me just get a shaded lilac. That should work with this. And let's see how dirty this is. Okay. So I'm gonna take that shaded lilac and just hit the edges here. Okay, that should work for that. And this, I think I need some something to fasten with. So let's see, I was going to put I got in here. Those are baby ones. Those are flower shapes. I was going to put a little button. On these. I can find something that works. Know if I like that color. I can probably alter that. Let me see. Let me see. Let's do, let's do a little purple archival. I need to dry those a bit. Okay, and then I'll grab some blue dots and some. I thought I had it out here earlier. I know I did. What did I do with it? Ah, little. I'm going to put a little dot of matte medium in the center because that'll help to adhere this. The blue dots are okay, but they don't always hold something like this that is this heavy. So I'm going to grab grab it with a glue dot to keep it there long enough for the matte medium to set up. Oh, yeah, and then the glue dot came off on my finger. Good job. <laughs> the glue dot doesn't want to stick because the matte medium's on there now. Okay. 
grabbing a new glue dot. And putting that on the middle of my flower. And one for this one. I think it doesn't really like the ink either. But that's the way it goes. So I'm going to make it work. That's what we do. We make it work. And stick that one down right there in the center of that flower. And do what you love. I think I'm going to, yeah, that'll slide right under there. And then I have what I have. One would think I would have something in purple, but I don't. So we're just going to go with black. And get my little puncher here. Punch a hole here to attach. Okay, and then I want to come on the other side and do the same thing. But now that that's, I'm going to trim this. Now that it's attached on one side, I can trim that down. And then I can get in here and punch easier. So I will to line it up pretty good here. Get this other brad in. And I've got, now do I want that or do I not? Why not? Okay, so I'm going to put, uh, let's see, down does that need to come? Let's say right about there. I'm going to punch. And put this little love brad through the card. And flatten it out on back. And you can put a little bit of the matte medium underneath that to keep it from moving. Because it wants to swing around a little bit. So I'll just put a dot under there and that'll dry and that'll hold that in that spot. Got a little bit of a piece of plastic sticking out there. And that is number 38. Bye, guys.